Hey Clashers, you want to learn how to have a defensive log like this without just randomly copying bases? Well, then this video is exactly your type of video. At the same time though, I'll obviously I'm going to share with you the base link, but let's start at the beginning. A couple of weeks ago, I actually got this base as base link from Freestyle, a base builder from Germany, which is pretty good. And well, this is a solid base, which he built and it's already looking pretty annoying. But one of the most important things is actually a couple of key defenses and the traps. The traps can be such an important difference and game changer that we're going to talk about how you should place your traps, an episode which I did already a couple of weeks ago and a lot of you fall in love with. So I will try to do that more often. So let's go with all of those traps. First off, this is the base link which I got from him. And you can see there already, he has like a lot of this, like this competitive mindset, trying to bait blimps, trying to bait fancy blizzards. And this is not something you have to bait in Legends. No, in Legends, you have to defend air spam. That's one of the most important things. If you have a base which, which is consistently defending air spam, super dragons, for example, then you did it. You have an incredible good base. Obviously, there are a couple of other strategies, but let's dive in first because this is the entry which got used the most to actually three star this base. Limp towards the town hall and then the dragons or super dragons, whatever, in flying around the bottom side with the heroes on the outside and pushing everything around the back end. This has worked incredibly well. So I did a couple of adjustments to try to defend that because there's a couple of things which you can try and do with the traps, which they like, this is how we started. This is the original trap placement from freestyle which, like I said, might work in a competitive environment, but does not work with, um, obviously, like, legend feelings, legend vibes. So one of the most important things is actually the clan castle placement of legends. So because you can really direct where the other player is sending their heroes in. And the clan castle placement in the beginning was pretty useless because it was right in the core. It did not cover the town hall. It did not cover the eagle area. And this is what I'm going towards. And I'm now going to explain you why those changes were made. First off, Tesla farm from the town hall. This is perfect to catch people off guard if they try to send their heroes for the town hall, like emergency stylish. And we put all of those black mines into the path of those super dragons. Then we put the nail trap behind the town hall, put all of those red bombs into the rotation direction of this nato trap to make sure that all of those loons which are getting generated from, I don't know, like clone spells, for example, are a good thing. And then we have to have the test farmer again to defend the town hall so the royal shaman shield is not going to take it down. So that was the entire idea. And I think we should check out a couple of replays, a couple of attacks, what people are doing on this base, and then we're going to adjust the traps again. Because this is like what base testing and base adjustment is all about. Because there is no base out there which from the beginning is going to work perfectly. No, you have to adjust your traps multiple times to make sure that they're actually hitting the target which you would like to hit. So let's get started. This is actually an entry which a lot of people are using on this base. Which the first time which I saw this base, I would have never ever expected. But there are sometimes days where half of the people who are attacking this base are doing this entry, which is straight up from the other side of the base and using the blimp in a, in a way which I would have never ever done because it, to me, looks so risky. But people apparently have the experience that they say, okay, this is obviously a risk which they take, but at the same time, they're willing to take it. So if we're able to defend those entries and make sure that they're not working, it's perfect. But let's take a look at the traps first. This blimp is collecting so many black mines. I think it's already collected by the, by now five of the of all of our black mines. It's not going to work because of the tornado trap, but still all of those loons are getting really close to the town hall. He's freezing the town hall, but with those red bombs, everything is falling. So this is defended, and you can see as well the royal champion already like getting sent in soon, but with the Tesla farm again, this Tesla farm is protecting them the second star. So we can see already, there is a lot of things which have worked, for example, the nato trap into the red bombs. But at the same time though, all of those black bombs against this entry did not look great. We had so many black mines getting triggered in this 
in this blimp angle and it did not work. There's now the ground skeleton trap and this town hall is going to stay up. So the one star is there, which is great. But we can still make this better because it was kind of close. The cloud blimp nearly, or the cloud loons actually, nearly took down the town hall. So we have still room to improve. That's something we always have to go for. So let's take a look at an attack which actually thraced off this base and let's see how we can adjust that against this attack and then put everything together. Because as I said, this is what it's all about, right? In Clash of Clans, I mean, obviously a lot of YouTubers, me included, are showing you always like the perfect result, like the perfect strategy, the perfect base, the, I don't know, whatever imperfect pretty much but no that's not how things are starting and i want to have you guys understanding this process how we're getting to this place where you can actually improve your own bases for example now let's take a look it's not super dragons but to be honest we don't care it's all about like this air spam thingy attack strategy and spam in this way is not used in a negative way but this is just how i call this strategy so now we have the blimp actually connecting to the town hall we have the loons coming out, there's a black mine, and the nato trap is connecting, but it's too late. The nato trap is getting triggered too late, and the town hall is going down. With this town hall going down, the dragons and dragon riders and everything can now just fly through the base. Yes, a lot of those black mines on the left side are connecting, but still it's not really holding them off. So the town hall has to survive longer, because looking at this now, we can see the back end, it has not too many chances of holding. Because even if his freezes are not too well, I think he could have frozen like Expo, Air Defense and Multi Inferno Tower. He did not hit, it, hit the Expo, which was it not too terrible or anything. But still, you could even improve this attack and it still would probably work. So how can we now defend this? What do we have to change to make sure that this entry does not work anymore? This is the big question which we should ask ourselves. And this is the, the solution we have to come up with. So let's see. First off, we have to change this nail trap. The nail trap, I put it more into the core, which is now further away from the town hall. So even clone loons should more likely not going to hit and not going to get the town hall. So this is going to be the first thing which we are going to change. The next thing, Maybe just a couple of red bombs to make sure that they're hitting better. Surprisingly, I don't know why exactly, but surprisingly, most of the people are coming from the top or from the far side. So no one is coming from the bottom right side. I don't know why exactly that's the case, but this is just my experience. And now we should as well collect all of those black mines because they did not do a great job, to be honest. Against this one blimp, they all got triggered by this one blimp, which is not the greatest thing. At the same time, though, we have not to defend the bottom blimp because no one is attacking from over there. I don't know why. And this is something you have to find for your own base as well. When you have your own bases, throw it up legends. It might get like 300 minus in the first day, maybe 280. Maybe it's not doing too good. But at the same time, if you can see what people are using on this base, you can try to defend it and bait it. This is like the key thing. If there is a base which is taking minus 320 in the first day and every single attack is using the same entry, this is the perfect base to be honest. Because this is the base where you can bait the one entry and you're going to get those easy defenses. On this one though now, we need to try to defend this blimp from the top side. This is why we have really far back double black mine because this should not activate the town hall by now the town hall should not be activated so this means the loons should go around the top side and not even take down the sweepers or should take down the single phone tower which is key because they're going to stay alive and it's going to be really hard and he has to invest a lot of resources the attacker in actually taking down the town hall this is like the main idea um, for this one the nato trap at this point is mainly about like defending this far side blimp so Next job, we have still a couple of black mines which we need to put somewhere. And again, we try to not put them around the pathing path of the blimp. Instead, a bit further to the outside, to the bomb towers. I think regular, uh, regular dragons should still trigger them. So that's perfect. But at the same time, the blimp should not trigger them anymore. So that's good. And attackers have to send the blimp in the middle because otherwise they're getting, like the blimp is getting caught by the sweepers. We obviously could now put the sweepers further together but you don't want to defend an entry where people can see it. People are still supposed to use this entry. So we don't want to put the sweepers intentionally. And we still create this dead zone kind of with the sweepers where you could put the blimp over there. But yeah, well, like now it won't work anymore. 
with the traps, not with the base itself. And that's kind of the key thing. If you see an entry, try to not, not defend the entry with like changing the entire base that this entry is not working anymore. No, change only the traps, only the defenses, only the things which the attacker cannot see because then everyone still is going to use this entry and you still, you defended it. That's the perfect situation, right? So now, next one, giant bombs. Those giant bombs around the, uh, around the, around the scatter shots did not get triggered. So I, I would just put the bombs over there to make sure that in the middle where the defending uh, barbarian king is, his own barbarian king has to use his ability over there to power through. And we, we want to take down the barbarians on the outside ASAP again. So whichever side he's going to come in from, from the bottom or from the top, this giant bomb is going to take down his spawned barbarians from the barbarian king, no problem whatsoever. And that's the next good step. So in general, I hope we did a pretty good job. And now it's up to you. Copy the base, feel free to use the link in the description and tell me how this base defended for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get better at base building. And I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.